What's going on YouTube? Hope everyone's having a great day out there. My name's Dustin and if this is your first time stopping in on the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and leave a like on this video. Appreciate the support. It helps the channel grow and helps us get more popular on YouTube. So appreciate any support that you guys can give me. Today I want to talk to you about, uh, and I don't know what we're going to call it, the title of the video, but uh, it's in regards to these 5.3 liters and they probably does it on the 4.8s and the 6 liters as well. But whenever you start them up, they get kind of a ticking noise or a tapping noise in the engine. Uh, it happened on my 06 and does the same thing on this pickup here too. So, you know, I've done a lot of research and I posted a prior video, which I may insert a little clip right here. Where I've started up. You can see, I mean, we've got good oil pressure, so that, that shouldn't be a problem. Let's go ahead and pop the lid and take a look. See if you can hear that. It's not too bad right at the moment, but it seems like after you drive it a little while, and you heat it up the temperature, it really makes that noise. So, take a look right here. But in that video, I did a, a motor flush to try to resolve the tick or the tap in there. Um, you know, it could be several different things that could be causing that. Uh, it could be a lifter, uh, it could be a valve, I mean there's tons of things that could cause this little tick in this motor and I'll let you guys have a listen on this. But one thing that I noticed about it is it happened on my 2006, that has slight interruption, but it happened on my 2006, I've got a buddy that's got a 2014 that has a little bit of noise too, I noticed whenever he fired it up, uh, I can even remember being young and uh, my dad's, he's got a 2000, 2000, and whenever you first turn it on and drive it up the uh, the dirt road there it would kind of tap but then it eventually go away uh, this one does it as well and like I say I'll demonstrate for you guys here in a second and then also another 2014 that I test drove had the same noise going on and then there's all sorts of videos on the internet about it uh, lifter tick or, or valve noise uh, motor knock which it's really not but uh, there, I mean there's all sorts of stuff on the internet and all sorts of things that you can try you can try motor flushes you can try some uh, Lo Lucas oil products um, uh, you can Lucas Oil. They make uh, a gas treatment that you can try to try to clear stuff out of there, and they also make uh, some oil additive that you can throw in. And I've tried both of those in the 2006, not with much luck. So let's go ahead and start this up, so you guys can kind of hear what I'm talking about, maybe on camera. By the way, this is my 2014 High Country. It's new to the channel. We've had it for oh three four weeks now, so it's still new. So we'll start this guy up. Maybe even pop the hood so you guys can hear it but it's most prominent right in here and if we pop the hood you can hear it and it's not near as bad as it was on my older pickup and I don't know if that's because they changed the oil weights or what but let's turn that off but it still makes a little bit of a tick and my buddy's his 2014 sounds exactly the same he's got a 2014 GMC Sierra with the 5.3 but common denominator here is the 5.3 and they all make that noise the 06 was a little bit worse uh, like I say you can try those different things that I've recommended there probably not gonna give you much luck but if you want to try them more power to you what I do want to say about it though is that you guys don't need to worry. I think you're in luck. From all the research that I've done about it, it's pretty much a more normal noise for these motors and nothing and nothing to even worry about, honestly. They, uh, you know, lots of them that I'm seeing make this noise, even new ones. So it's just part of the, how the motor sounds. So a way to really, and, and you know, I don't want to write that off just across the board and say, oh, if your motor is making a noise that sounds bad, then it's fine don't worry about it because you know that may not always be the case you know you may have a legitimate issue and I'd say the easiest way to find out is you know to either do a compression test of some fashion or uh, whenever you're changing your oil look on your plug most of them are magnetic on these models anyway they're magnetic and uh, they'll pick up any you know oil or, I'm sorry not oil but metal shavings in there so you can kind of gauge and see if uh, you know if there's an issue there but as far as the noise, like what you're hearing here and on the video insert that I did for you just a second ago, I wouldn't even worry about it. I drove that pickup with that for 30,000 miles and, you know, 
pick this one up. Shoot, my buddy is like, say, I'm pretty sure it's done it since brand new, and he's got 50,000 miles on it. So I don't think it's anything that you guys need to worry. With that information, you know, just drive your vehicle and enjoy it. Don't worry about it. You know, check those things, the oil, maybe a compression test if you find something in the oil that looks bad. But otherwise, just drive it. It's going to be just fine. These 5.3s, super, super reliable. I mean, unless you just rot on this thing and really tear on it, uh, this engine is going to last you a long time. I would be very surprised if you didn't get at least 200, if not 250,000 miles out of the original engine without having to do a rebuild or anything, if you do the proper maintenance and take care of it. Uh, same goes with the transmission, you know. It's all in the maintenance. So if you're making a noise like that, don't even worry about it. And it may sound kind of crazy, but if you guys have stuck around on this video this long, I do want to tell you, it may sound kind of crazy, but one thing that I've noticed that seems to actually alleviate it some is to uh, use what is referred to as a top tier gas. And we'll do another video on what top tier gas is. But basically what it is, is it's branded gas. Uh, there are several different gas stations that agreed to participate in this and they add more detergents in there to clean out your engine. Um, you know, the octane isn't any different or anything like that, but uh, it does have uh, more detergents in there to make your vehicle uh, cleaner, keep the valves cleaner and has more detergent to keep your valves clean. And uh, I think it's like 19 times uh, more cleaning power than just typical unbranded gasoline that you might get it. And I'm just going to pick these out. If you guys are in northern Arkansas, there's a lot of Casey's around here or Murphy's uh, gas stations that are in Walmart, you know. So you might check out the top tier gas. And like I say, we'll do another video on that so you guys know what that's about. Uh, that does actually, and I may just be crazy, but it seems like it actually helps reduce the tick more than motor flush, more than any Lucas oil treatment or anything like that. Sorry about the noise, guys. Anyways, just want to make this quick video to inform you guys. Drive your truck, enjoy it. If it's making a noise like that, don't obsess over it too much like I did on my 2006 because, like I say, I think it's really just part of this engine here. Uh, you know, all of them that I've seen have been that way. So if you guys like this video and want more content, especially with this truck here, we're going to have lots of it, I promise. Be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. That way you're getting notifications whenever new videos are up. Hit that like button and be sure to share this video with your friends that might be having this noise. And let them know they just need to drive it and enjoy it. Thanks, guys.